Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you again on my channel where I share with you the best tips and tricks to ace your exams. In today's video, I have something really exciting for you. I'm going to show you how to get addicted to studying in seven easy steps. That's right, you can actually make studying fun and enjoyable and even crave for more. How awesome is that? Trust me, you don't wanna miss this one. So if you're ready to transform your study habits, boost your motivation and achieve your academic goals, then stay tuned because this video is for you. The first step to get addicted to studying is to ignite your passion. Remember that subject you could talk about all day long? That's your academic sweet spot. Find a connection between that and what you need to study. Passion fuels persistence. For example, if you love history, you can relate the topics that you are studying to the historical events that interest you. If you love music, you can use songs or lyrics to memorize the concepts that you are learning. If you love sports, you can use analogies or metaphors to understand the theories that you are applying. The more you can link your study material to your passion, the more you will enjoy and remember it. The second step to get addicted to studying is to design your lair of learning. I mean, Batman wouldn't be Batman without the Batcave, right? Create a study space that makes you feel like a superhero ready to conquer the world of knowledge. Your study environment plays a big role in your mood and productivity. If you study in a place that is noisy, messy, or distracting, you will feel stressed and frustrated. On the other hand, if you study in a place that is quiet, tidy, and cozy, you will feel relaxed and focused. So make sure you choose a place that suits your preferences and needs. You can also personalize your study space with some plants, pictures, or motivational quotes. And don't forget to have some snacks, drinks, and music ready to make your studying more enjoyable. Moving on to step three, goals and not ghouls. Set goals that don't scare the living daylights out of you. Small, achievable milestones are the secret sauce to a sweet sense of accomplishment. Having a goal gives you a direction and a purpose for your studying. It also helps you measure your progress and celebrate your achievements. For example, your goal could be to get a certain grade on a test, to master a certain skill, or to learn a new topic. Whatever your goal is, make sure it is smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Write it down and keep it visible so you can remind yourself of it every day. Step four is schedule it like a boss. Pinpoint those times when your brain is at its peak performance. Could be at dawn or maybe you're a night owl. Lock those times down for studying. Time management is crucial for effective studying. If you study at random times or when you are tired, bored, or hungry, you will waste your time and energy. On the other hand, if you study at regular times or when you are alert, motivated, and satisfied, you will optimize your time and energy. So find out when you are most productive and creative and plan your study sessions accordingly. You can use a calendar, a planner, or an app to organize your schedule and stick to it. On to step five. Study smarter, not harder. Mix it up with mind maps, flashcards, or summaries. Variety is not only the spice of life, but of studying too. Studying smarter means using the best methods and tools for your learning style and goals. If you study with the same technique or tool, you will get bored and lose interest. On the other hand, if you study with different techniques or tools, you will get engaged and challenged. So experiment with different ways of studying and find out what works best for you. You can use some techniques such as summarizing, questioning, explaining, applying, or teaching to process and apply the information that you are learning. You can also use some tools such as flashcards, mind maps, diagrams, or quizzes to review and test your knowledge. Step six is curiosity didn't kill the cat it aced the test. Dive deeper. 
Go beyond the what and explore the why. Remember, a curious mind is never bored. Curiosity is the key to learning anything. If you study with a passive or superficial attitude, you will miss out on the essence and beauty of the topic. On the other hand, if you study with an active or in-depth attitude, you will discover the meaning and value of the topic. So, ask yourself some questions that make you curious about the topic that you are studying. For example, you can ask yourself, what is the most surprising thing about this topic? What is the most useful thing about this topic? What is the most fun thing about this topic? How can I relate this topic to my life or the world? This way, you stimulate your curiosity and you discover new perspectives and insights. And finally, step seven is celebrate the victories. Finish a study sesh, reward yourself with an episode of your favorite show, or, you know, a piece of that chocolate cake waiting for you in the fridge. The reward system is a simple but effective way to motivate yourself and reinforce your positive behavior. The idea is to reward yourself with something that you like or want every time you complete a study task or session. For example, you can reward yourself with a chocolate, a movie, a game, or a nap after you finish a chapter, a quiz, or a project. This way, you create a positive association between studying and pleasure, and you look forward to your rewards. And that's it, guys. These are the seven easy steps to get addicted to studying. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.